and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. The next module in this sound mangling kind of effects uh, we, I want to do is the ring modulator. We can discuss if that's an effect or not. Um, the ring modulator takes two signals and mangles them together, one signal affecting the other signal. Um, and there are just like every other module there are different ways of doing it uh, I'm going to show two or three ways of doing it and the first one this one that I've already made in the first week of the modular in a week series you can see that because it is white and red the second day was yellow and black um, so um, I've already made this in the first week but I couldn't find a good way of putting this in so therefore it has to be this week, uh, this day, in this week, uh, where uh, ring modulators will fit in. This one is the most simple of all uh, ring modulators using CMOS technology and, of, and logic uh, with that. That being said, no matter what you put into this, you will get a square signal out. So that's good to know that it's a, just a simple one. We'll look at the more complicated ones later. So I'd like to say thank you to my Patreons who support me and this channel and everything I do here. Uh, you are amazing, you are the people who make it possible for me to do this. And if you're not a Patreon, of course you can become one. Uh, just head over to Patreon, follow the link in one of the corners here and look at some of the stuff I show there as well. I show quite a lot of the um, things that happen behind the, the camera and other like the all these modules that I try to put to market what happens with that in the background uh, a little bit of that also trickles over to my discord server so if you haven't been there uh, there is loads of awesome people helping each other out doing building amazing stuff uh, so there's a link in the description for that as well. And with that said, let's go and look at the super simple schematics uh, for this one. Uh, and let's listen to what this sounds like. I'm sitting trying to figure out where I found this schematics. Uh, I know I've had this schematics on paper uh, since, since the 1990s sometime where I did the Mad Mouse, uh, so this is actually the actual board I made, uh, and I thought I had it with the uh, with some modifications for the Mad Mouse to add ring modulation. I know the schematics that I have, uh, so I'll, I'll put I'll put a photocopy of the schematics uh, in my Dropbox uh, link in the description. It's made by EFM Electronic for Music, Tom G but I'm not sure where I found this, unfortunately. So because I can't find it, I redrew it as well here. And while I redrew it, I also realized that I probably, when I did this way back in week one of modular in a week, I think I might have uh, hooked it up wrong because this symbol right here uh, now, uh, now I know that this can also be a symbol for minus 12 volts, but when I did it, I just thought it was ground with another uh, image. But if you see in the photo of the original image, there's this ground and this symbol just next to each other. So it must be that this is minus 12 volts and this is ground. So this brings, and also I forgot those diodes, so I'm actually going to remake this one um, and see the difference between the one I've already made and already used a lot and if there's a difference to this uh, setup instead. So the one I've already made, just to make that clear, is both of these two are connected to ground which means that this 100k really doesn't do anything 
and there's no diodes on the inputs. That is the only difference between the this one, how it's supposed to be, and the way I did it way back on week one. Here we have the two different versions uh, and I built another one because, as I said, I missed a few things when I did this in the first uh, week. Uh, but this is how small you can make it, just a small, small Vero board, strip board, like this. Um, and then I of course did it on my protoboard, uh, not using a lot of space. I only had one for the 11, so I actually need to re move this in between. So uh, you'll hear a lot of sound examples now and they are all with this one as you'll see uh, because I've already recorded these before I realized that it was wrong. But I'll make some recording recordings with this one as well so we hear if there is a difference and also see if there's a difference. Uh, the front panel is something similar uh, to this. It's, it's what you need. In A, in B, and out. That's that's the controls. There's no controls other than that. So now we just have the uh, uh, sinus wave input. You can see the round down there, and it's turning everything above zero volts into a square wave. I'm guessing. Um, and if we turn this you see we basically have a wave shaper so let's add another waveform on the second input let's take a saw wave and this one is now a sh very short one let me zoom out so you can see the two oscillators I'm using as well so this is the first one, the sinus wave, and here's the saw wave. And if we turn this up, sorry, the triangle wave. So we turn out the triangle wave. And this is that specific ring modulated sound. And now we have it the same thing, but the other way around. And as you can see, we now have a, tri uh, a triangle wave on the bottom instead of a sinus wave. So just turning these knobs a bit. Those of you who uh, lived uh, were kids in the 80s and sat and tune the AM radio, can recognize these sounds from that. Let's um, add a sequencer, let's sequence some of this, one of the oscillators. So now I've added a, a sequence, a sequencer to one of the oscillators playing a melody and the other one is just standing still and affecting the ring mod. Alright, so now I've, they're still uh, ring modulating each other, but now I also sync them with uh, the sync that this module has.
Alright, I've moved everything up here because this is where the action is. Um, I am happy I built the other one uh, because this actually shows that my initial statement is wrong uh, with this one because all the uh, mistakes I did with I skipped on the two diodes and the connection to negative 12 volts on the output uh, so I got square one of the outputs is a square but as you can see this is perfectly nice um, two sinus waves here which is I have two sinus waves on the input so it is a really nice sinus wave so forget what I said before and uh, let's instead listen to this one which probably sounds much nicer So let's change one waveform uh, to triangle. this one to a square that did not work Triangle waves. And there's one saw wave now, which you see moving along there. Um, sequenced patch where we're sequencing one of the ECOs. Now we are controlling both with the same CV. So now I use a LFO in on one. there. I don't know, 
I think this is quite an interesting other sound actually that is very different than this one and this is probably way more uh, correct to the uh, ring mod how it's supposed to sound So we're on to a good start doing ring modulators, I think. As I said, I'm going to do at least one, maybe two more, or I'm definitely going to make one more and one that is can be used as a ring modulator. Um, we, I, I got off to a bad start with this one uh, because I didn't know, apparently I didn't know how to read a schematics correctly uh, when I started this project, uh, I think almost two years since I made this one actually but uh, so but redoing it this way much better we have much nicer curves I really like uh, that and actually if you just want a simple ring modulator uh, the next one is of course going to be more complicated but it doesn't have to be much more complicated than this there's uh, you can get a lot of cool sounds out of this as well so before I end the video I want to do a shout out to my Discord server as well. If you're not there yet I really recommend you go there. There's a lot of really nice folks over there and we have a lot of fun discussions and give each other ideas and, uh, and pep each other when we uh, get stuck on something. So I, re I can really recommend going over there. Uh, you, and if you want to ask me a question as always, ask them in the comments of the video, that's the benefit for everyone. Or uh, go to the Discord server where all the days of my modular in a week has its own section. And if you want to ask me a, uh, a question personally, just add sorcery when you get there uh, and I'll try to answer. So anyway, see you in the next video where we'll make another ring modulator. Take care. Bye.